All right, so I wanted to make a video that will explain this assignment called Hand It to the Animals. You'll see how that's punny here in a minute. So first, you're going to go to the Canvas page where it is. You're going to open up the link for the assignment today, and then you're also going to open up the slideshow that we used. Now, again, I'm sorry I'm not there. Normally, this is one where I would walk you through the slideshow. I would be showing this in class while you just focused on the assignment. But due to circumstances out of our control, I am at home. And so this is the best way to do it. So you've got the assignment, you'll make a copy. Okay. So again, this this is kind of related to what we did with uh, our last couple assignments with bone structures. So now we're gonna talk about how we can identify what uh, an animal's behavior is based on looking at its structure. So we've already done this with the teeth, right? We, we looked at the teeth of like crocodiles and allosauruses and things like that. And then we also looked at, oh, what was it? The talons or like the claws of dinosaurs and modern organisms like a bear, wolf, things like that. So now instead of looking at the teeth and the claw, we're gonna look at something else. We're gonna look at the hand or you know the, the front appendage, whatever is on the end of it. So here's how we're going to do it. Open a tab with our slideshow for today. Done. Already did that. As you view each slide, use the pictures to fill out the table below about the animal hands you see. The actual animal will be revealed at the end of class. So under observations, you're going to briefly describe the main features of each hand. Like for example, it has individual fingers. It's got fingernails, claws, thick bones, thin little fragile bones. Um, long long hands or kind of short and stubby hands a lot of joints no joints the shape of because you can kind of see the when it says the shape of the flesh you can kind of see the outline of like the meat of the hand not just the bones so you can describe that as well so th that is all going to happen under observations and you should be pretty darn good at making observations by now under function you're going to predict a function for the hand so you're gonna say, like, for example, is this used for flying, swimming, grasping, or you know, like manipulating, like with tools, like a human hand or a monkey hand? Um, is this gonna be used for walking and running? And then under animal, you're gonna make a hypothesis, or you're going to predict which animal you think the hand belongs to, or the front paw, or the front hoof or wing or whatever you want to call it. So you're going to make a prediction about what animal it is. And then at the end, just for fun, you can go and look and, and put down what the animal actually is. Okay. Whether you get these right or wrong in your predictions doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So I don't care if you get the right answer here. You don't need to go back and change it. You don't need to cheat and look ahead. Really just make a guess. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. Who cares? You'll still get full points as long as you do it, okay? So here are your choices. Under animal, identify the hand shown in the x-ray from the following. So these are like your multiple choice answers here. It could be a human, a hyena, a lion, a chimpanzee, an owl, panda, sea lion, sun bear, or a zebra, okay? Those are your options for what your prediction could be. All right, so... Let's look at the actual slideshow. So number one, okay, here's picture number one. Look at this wrist and hand. Might look familiar. So looking at this, you're gonna make observations, okay? Do you see separate fingers? Yes, I do. Um, how many joints do I see? I see like one, two, three different like, jointed segments for the fingers. Um, they're, kind of skinny i don't see any fingernails and the flush shape um shows that there is like five individual fingers there so that is those are those are a few of my observations okay you can make your own you can steal some of mine for this one those are going to be your, the type of things you're looking for for observations i'm going to write them right down there remember at least three okay don't try to just do the bare minimum here now I'm going to predict a function. Well, um, just looking at that, I'm going to guess that it's used for manipulating things or holding things. 
like for example holding a tool or texting or whatever um in general i'm going to say it is used for manipulating or grasping onto things so i'm going to put that in the function prediction and for animal prediction i'm going to say that's human hands looking at that i'm going to guess oops that's the next one i'm going to predict that that is a human hand because it looks a lot like a human hand that's why i that's why i predicted that it was used for doing things like using tools and texting all right, so that is number one. Now I would move on to number two, after I made my prediction right here. I would move on to number two, and I would do the same thing. Here I only see, it looks like two appendages, or like two fingers right there. One, I should sorry, I shouldn't say two fingers. Two joints, like there's one segment, and there's another segment. There's one segment, and there's the second segment. And it does look like there are some little claws on the end of this one. So. And there is only four of them that I can notice right here. So those are the type of observations you're going to make. Okay? And these ones look long and skinny compared to the rest. So then you're going to go through all the rest of these. Okay. Oh, man. Now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe that's the human. Anyway, you're going to come through and you're going to make prediction based on all of these hands and guess which one is which. And that one looks like it. And now that one's not a human, but it does look similar. Anyway, go through these, fill out the answers here. When you're all done, go ahead and look at the actual answers. I believe the answer sheet is at the very, very bottom. Yeah, there it is. Again, I'm not judging you. Like, I'm not grading you at all on if you get the right animals here. So don't even worry about that. Just make sure, I mean, just make sure you're filling out all the boxes. And honestly, it can kind of be a fun guessing game. Interesting to see the differences and similarities we have with other animals in there their front paws or hooves or claws or whatever it is okay so that is that assignment as always if you if you have questions go ahead and email me and yeah hope you all have a great day